One question I get asked from a lot of DBAs is how can Diagnostic Manager help me monitor my backups? All right, so there's a few different ways to do that, and we'll start right now. The easiest way, really, is to go to the Databases tab for a particular instance and really see at a very uh, easy glance, uh, you know, which databases uh, you may be backing up more regularly than others, all right, and which backups maybe you're not ever backing up. So one thing you can do to, you know, kind of automate this is to configure alerts for this particular instance. And we're going to configure an alert called days since last backup, which happens to be at the very top. Now our default threshold is uh, 10 and 30 days. You can see I've modified that and you can modify that to however you want to. All right, so uh, what you can also do is uh, configure uh, backup thresholds for a particular database, as I've done here with my master database. So if I just go to edit that, you can see I'm just generating a critical alert if I haven't backed up my master database in one day. Okay, so you can make these as granular uh, or as general as you want to. Uh, I would recommend, uh, you know, adjusting this default threshold uh, to at least a more reasonable value that satisfies your service level agreements with your organization. All right. What we can also do is apply that that threshold to a template. All right. So if you have, you know, uh, you know, templates for uh, different environments like test and QA or whatnot, uh, different levels of, of, of uh, backups that you need to uh, abide by, then you can uh, set that th for those alert templates. You can also configure that for uh, a tag of instances as well or uh, just a, a number of different instances that you select. All right. Another thing you can do here is uh, if, a back, if a backup hasn't been run on a particular database or a group of databases uh, on a particular instance, is you can create an alert action response to run a job that performs those uh, backups if you still have one. All right, so I have an example, uh, many examples I've created here. I'll create one from scratch here. We'll just name it Backup Rerun. And then you have some conditions to select here in step one. I'm just going to make this simple and add where the SQL Server instance is in a specified list. I'm just going to select my SQL Server 2012 named instance. You can, of course, select more than one instance or select a tag of instances as well. And then I'm going to select where the metric is in a specified list. So I'm going to select my days since last backup metric. And that's right here. All right. And I'm going to change uh, my severity levels to warning or informational. So I'm just going to uncheck informational here uh, and make this uh, actually just run with warning or critical. If I click OK, now I have some actions to select and I'm just going to run a SQL agent job. All right. So I'm going to select my 2012 named instance. I'm going to browse from my job list, and I have uh, some SQL Safe jobs here. SQL Safe is Idera's enterprise SQL Server backup and recovery solution. Uh, so if you want more information on that, you can go to idera.com, and you can even download a fully functional trial that lasts 14 days. Okay, so I'm just going to choose to run my full backup, choose a step to start out at, and I only have one step. It just runs the backup uh, job here. So click OK, and now I'm done. All right, so to review, on my SQL Server 2012 named instance, if my day since last backup alert goes into a warning or a critical state, I'm going to run my SQL Safe full backup job on my SQL Server 2012 named instance. So it's that easy to really create an alert action response in the case that uh, databases aren't backing, being backed up on a regular basis or that um, particular uh, databases aren't being backed up as well. Okay. All right. I've already created that rule here, so I'm just going to cancel out it. Another thing you can do is uh, run prescriptive analysis. So what is prescriptive analysis? Pres prescriptive analysis allows a diagnostic manager to create uh, recommendations based off of things uh, may that may have been overlooked. For example, backups here. So if we right-click on a particular instance, my SQL Server 2012 named instance, in fact, all of these items will be unchecked out of the box when you install it. So you'll need to 
you know, choose if you want to schedule this to run, and you'll definitely need as a minimum uh, minimum requirement, select at least one category. And the one category that pertains to backups and, you know, whether uh, your uh, recovery models are, are, are set, uh, you know, differently than uh, they should be uh, is in disaster recovery. So if we go to advanced settings, I just want to... Uh, you know, highlight some of those uh, recommendations that uh, are related to disaster recovery. All right, so let me just scroll a little bit more. So here's one where uh, the backups should be on separate volumes than your data and log files. Uh, I do that just because it's a demo environment and I like to trigger these recommendations. So that's definitely a big no-no in a, in a production uh, a production environment, uh, so you'll want to have a separate backup LUN or, um, you know, just separate backup file server uh, established for that. All right, uh, your database is using these simple recovery models, so you lose that point in time uh, uh, recovery capabilities if, uh, if, you know, like you would get with a full recovery model. So if, if these databases are in a production environment, you'll definitely want to consider changing that to a full recovery model. Outdated backups is a huge issue as well, so that relates to, uh, back to our day since last backup uh, alert configuration. Also, if a recent backup has been moved or deleted, this could have implications for disaster recovery processes. Also, for testing backups as well, if you have automated restore setup uh, and restore job setup for your different environments, test dev, staging, uh, development, whatever that may be, uh, that may have some implications on development as well because they're not getting a fresh refresh of, um, of, of production data. All right. If you're not backing up your transaction log in a certain number of days, it will alert you to that. Again, pointing to uh, point in time recovery. If you're not backing up your transaction log in a reasonable amount of time, you're going to experience data loss. So if we look at my environment here under the Analyze tab, here's where you'll see those results of, of uh, that tab. So if we, uh, if, if we go up to the top here, I have some uh, backups on the same volume as my data files here. If we scroll here to the bottom, it's going to give me some lower priority items that I definitely need to look at here. Uh, those having to do with some of my databases being in a simple recovery model, having outdated backups here. Uh, and uh, one thing that I'll point out here is uh, What's nice about prescriptive analysis is that it will give you uh, a detailed explanation uh, of the issue here, outdated backups, uh, you know, that could hinder uh, disaster recovery processes, and it gives you a recommendation on what to do. Just ensure that your backups are uh, up to date, they're added to your backup jobs or whatever backup process that you follow here. Uh, another thing here is if you're in full recovery mode and you haven't done a uh, T-log backup in a certain number of days, wow, eight, 1,890 days, that's a very long time, so maybe I need to look at that. Again, gives me a recommendation on uh, why I should uh, back up my T-log, obviously for point in time recovery, uh, so you, don't, so you uh, minimize your data loss there. And it also will give you an article here uh, on uh, either the Microsoft Knowledge Base or, or Idea Wiki uh, site to uh, give you some more detailed uh, explanation of that as well. All right, so hopefully this session has been useful for you, and I appreciate your time. Have a great day.